This is Mr. Gamble from Red Hot Race Tips and it's Thursday the 4th of February and today we're interested in a race at Southall and the race we're interested in is the 325 um, and the horse is one we've tipped before which is US Navy Seal. Now rather than go over a lot of old ground um, we'll, we'll stick to the, uh, the basics and uh, then I will let you see the selection information from the 21st of January which is when we last tipped that horse um, but 12 furlongs at Southall looks absolutely ideal for this horse um, he can run up to uh, a rating of around 100 we believe um, he's going to be getting three pounds uh, today um, and uh, and seven to one looks absolutely massive value so there is uh, no certainties um, but um, if the trainer feels that today is the day for this horse um, then US Navy SEAL should be able to win this race quite comfortably. Um, Vernon um, looks a reasonable horse but he's not anywhere in that class um, and uh, the Lockmaster um, loves Southall um, but he wins over 11 furlongs not over today's 12 furlongs. So, um, so US Navy SEAL in the 325 at Southall. Hi, this is Mr. Gamble. It's Thursday the 21st of January and today we are going to be focusing on a race at uh, Chelmsford and the race we're going to be looking at is the 610 and the horse we're interested in here is US Navy SEAL. Now, what the really interesting uh, figures for US Navy SEAL are actually over course and distance on the 21st of December. Um, he ran against. Uh, he ran in a race with uh, six other horses, and uh, he was absolutely running all over them. Um, he got blocked three times, still won easily, quickened up much better than any of them. Um, and to us, when you consider the information we're about to give, um, he looks like uh, he should be able to run up to a rating of about a hundred. Now. If you look at um, the horse that was second in the race, Bank of Gibraltar, that won the next time it ran up to a rating of 90. Curiosa, the horse that finished third, won next time, running to around 80 plus, um, and it was getting five pounds this day. Signed Sealed won the next time it ran at 80 plus. Um, and Miss Guyler uh, should have won the next time it ran. Um, it ran to 80 plus um, and uh, it was also getting five pounds. So you're talking about um, four horses there, all either won next time out or should have won next time out, all ran to ratings of between sort of 85 and 90. And US Navy SEAL was galloping all over them like they were stood still. Um, got blocked on a number of occasions and still managed to win. So you would have to think that this horse should be able to run up to around 100. Plus, um, because he's a four-year-old running against these horses today, he's actually receiving two pounds in weight as well. Um, he can tuck in behind uh, the leaders, um, he'll get a great toe into the race um, and uh, swoop late to win comfortably. Um, he's got the best all-weather jockey, in my opinion, book to ride him, um, and seven to one about this horse looks way too big. If the trainer is interested in this is the right horse for the race um, and everything goes well, I just can't see how this horse gets beat today. Um, so there are no certainties, um, but uh, seven to one looks absolutely massive for US Navy SEAL in the 610 at Cheltenham.